Welcome, guys, to another episode of DC Films Hub. This is episode 36 with you. This week is your boy, and with me. Who is with me this week, man? Man, today I'm going by Mr. Sadfleck. <laughs> Mr. Sadfleck? Oh, Sadfleck, man. man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> Every time I think of that, I just think of uh, Hello Darkness, the my Sad old friend. Sadfleck? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was savage, though. That was, that man. Was, God damn. That was, that was a savage that was a, that was a good meme, man. One all time. You know what I mean? It it was. Uh, cue <laughs> the track. <laughs> no, just kidding. I know. Halo Darkness, my yeah. old friend. <laughs> no, man, but, but uh, um, this all last, this whole week that we've had of news has literally just been uh, Bon Voyage to Ben Affleck, huh? You know, it's like a week of mourning. It was. It was. And, you know, it's. Well, we'll start it off with the, the night of last week the 14th Mm -hmm. uh we recorded our show but we did not watch jimmy kimmel and we didn't know if anything was going to be said or if anything was going to be important um on jimmy kimmel with ben affleck but unfortunately there was (laughs) i mean i know they had a they had a damn ceremony with (laughs) with with hanging up the bat cow and and i know it was done in a humorous way yeah but, Every time he escaped. Yeah, I mean, it was a legit, hey, he is not going to be Batman anymore, and we should all come to grips with it. Yeah. <laughs> Did you watch it? I mean, uh, yeah, I uh, know. I watched it the next morning because uh, I, I completely forgot about it. I'm like, wait, uh, you know, I, I remember when, um, uh, right after uh, we recorded the show, and I went in Twitter, and I saw Jimmy Kimmel uh, promotional uh, commercial. I'm like, oh. I forgot about that. <laughs> Couldn't record the show a day after. <laughs> but um, no, I was not. Uh, I, you know, like you, I wasn't expecting anything because the man hasn't said a damn thing. I mean, yeah, he hasn't all, said all this a, time. Like, period. And said anything. Yeah, nothing. Well, you know, the thing is that I, we already know. We already know because uh, when the report came out that that um, Matt Reeves was going to go with a younger Batman and he retweeted that. That report, I think, it was Variety who reported it. Hmm. And when he said, "I'm excited for what Matt Reeves is gonna be," oh yeah, blah, yeah. Blah, blah. yeah, you know. So I already knew, but you know. But I mean, even then, we still. All, I mean, if you if you have listened to the show, if you've been a listener to the show, you've known mm-hmm. about the fucking writings on the wall for like literally oh, yeah. since October. There's none of this shit. Technically, should be a surprise. You should know no, no, it, if you've been a not. listener. You should be like, yeah, no, we saw it. I mean. And, yeah, we knew. <laughs> and how many times did you and I both kind of just throw it in there, like, "Yeah, he's not gonna be, he's not gonna be bad." Yeah, anymore, many right? times. We, 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 the only thing that we always ask for is like, "Listen, man, just come out with it. Just say yeah, it. Just, just, just like announce it, like officially." I know exactly. I mean, it's not. He wasn't like because I, I remember um, before the Aquaman movie came out, I was like, "I mean, why, why are they taking so long to?" To announce this man is not gonna be Batman. Because <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm thinking, okay, Aquaman is successful. Now I'm getting ho- my hopes up. Like, okay, maybe they're gonna retool and keep him on board. But then, no, no. But then, I, I, you know what? I was got a feeling. Nah, nah. He's just he's gone. He's not coming back. Well, the thing I can appreciate was Jimmy Kimmel doing it in a in a satire way of hanging up the cape and cow. Right? I mean, that's that's yeah. what you do whenever you pass on the torch and. I can appreciate Mm -hmm. the humor in it. One thing that I'm really shocked about is the amount of some fans' denial. Like, literally just, well, you know, he also didn't say he was done. I'm like, what? He he says, and I quote, I guess I'm not Batman. The the reason why he said it in a question mark is because... Jimmy Kimmel asked him, hey, is there anything you want to say? Something that you would like to say? And so he's he's saying he's not Batman in a question like, I don't know, is that good enough? Like, I know, right? for the people that were like, well, you know, he said it with a question mark. That is only because of the way it was presented to him. That has nothing, right. absolutely nothing to do with I, him not being a Batman. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, he, It's just in, intriguing to me. How can someone be so, de- so damn... Delusional. I don't know, dude. How can you not like listen to that and go, no, he he could still be Batman. 
like I just saw him hang up a cape and cow and him literally look directly into a camera saying, I'm not Batman. I'm not Batman. But you know what? <laughs> I still think that there's a chance. There's a chance he could be yeah. Batman. Like, what the fuck? Like, somebody posted oh. something about uh, him. Um, they had her on his Facebook. I'm like, really? Yeah, That's what that, you're going by. That doesn't mean anything. You know what? I, I saw this as a joke. I will say this was a good one. They go, hmm. well, at least he didn't say he wasn't playing Bruce Wayne. And I was like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a, that's almost as bad as some of the other people that have been that's serious insane. about it. You know what I mean? Like, Yeah, they, they, they just completely detached from reality. Uh, yeah. I mean, goddamn, yeah, dude. You know, it, and it bothers me. It bothers me so much because, oh, man, I remember when the um, – when the article came out first, and there was uh, I'm not gonna mention, I'm not gonna shout him out on the show. <laughs> <laughs> this is kid that he made, he makes uh, videos on uh, on YouTube, and I'm like thumbing through because you know, like when you follow the usual suspects, then on, on your regular uh, feed shows up, you know, related items, and I'm like, right. let me click on this guy who has a decent following. And he just went on on a forty-five minute rant about how he said it, how the how the article worded that he's not the Batman now, and how he could be, and you know that it was not sufficient information given to substantially say that he wasn't really the Batman. Like, I'm like God dude, damn, dude! And I just couldn't help myself. I'm like, yo, you are freaking crazy. <laughs> it, it's it's uh, it's shocking to me, but it's not really like when you think of this fandom. Truly, it's not sometimes like some people in this fandom are, are um, yeah, they, they're, 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 they're special. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, you don't you don't just go, hey, look, Batman. I mean, Ben Affleck can be Batman still. Like, no, not. Hmm. I mean, I don't know what you could think of. He is not going to want to get into Batman shape when he's fucking no. almost 60 years old. OK, sorry. Dude, that's just not only, going to happen. No, it's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. So I, I, I don't know. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll say, and technically this our episode, our show, it's probably not going to be that long because it's really no. all we have to say is we're talking Pretty about much. Ben Affleck and I loved him as, as Batman. Don't get me wrong. Okay. He was yeah. a, a phenomenal, phenomenal fucking Batman. He was the best Batman the, iteration that I've seen on film. Okay. They're perfect. And, they're yeah. Perfect, man. And, and, you know, I've seen them since 89. You know, I grew up, I, I was born in 86, so it shouldn't be a surprise. Mm. But, you know, to think of Ben Affleck as the Batman in BVS, because that was really the only opportunity we've had to see him. You know what I mean? Like, you there's get no. The full, the full feel yeah. of what he's, what he's supposed to be. I the, mean, I mean, Zack Snyder's vision. Right. The, the main the thing, like, hey, this is him as Batman. Not the bullshit mm. that we got from Justice League mm, yet. No. You know what I mean? Until we see that fucking film. Because really, that's that's the only thing we have to kind of to hold back on. You know what I mean? Like, we have, mm-hmm. a, you know, I want to say we have at least a little bit of a holdout on that Justice League real film of seeing Ben Affleck's true vision of ba- Batman. You know what I mean? Right. How long it'll be till we see that? I don't fucking know. But that's about the last opportunity that you're going to see of Ben Affleck as Batman. Mm. Okay. Yeah, it, yes, it was. And, and that's... Uh, I remember uh, a while ago when they were announcing that he, that he was not going to be the Batman anymore. <laughs> and that the studio was... Look, wait, wait. And the studio was saying uh, that they want to find a nice way to send him off. I'm like, you know what? That's a kind of pretty shitty way to send him off with Showing him in uh, Justice League. Ugh. I mean that por- that portrayal. Of, it's of just Batman, so that fucking like, embarrassing. That was like Schumacher level. <laughs> uh, no, dude, that was worse, dude. That was almost that was. I would say Clooney was a better Affleck. I mean, better Batman than oh. <laughs> than he was oh, in Justice League man, at some point. That was dude. a low blow. I know. It was. I don't think I, I don't think <laughs> Zach would agree with you. Hey, I'm just saying. Zach. No, I'm saying in the portrayal <laughs> that that we know are the reshoots. That's what I mean. No, I know, I know. The reshoots is what really we're talking about. Yes, yeah. I'm sure there is underneath all all that mess that we got <laughs> from in Justice League. There is a, an amazing performance. There I'm has sure. to be. There, there sure has to be, and I'm sure there is. And 
you know, <laughs> we, we we will get. I don't know if we're gonna get to see it though. You know, yeah, I don't know, man. I, I it, it looks further further in the horizon than ever before. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna get. I'm gonna get. I know, and, and I'm not. I'm not laughing I'm, at. I'm that. Get, I know. I'm, no, I'm not I'm, laughing I'm at laughing that at, either. I'm laughing because I'm. I I have nothing else to do anymore. Like I am just. I'm shut. Like. You know what I mean? I know. It's like we don't have nothing to fight for. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, you know, it's, it's, it is painful. It's, it feels like an end of an era. Like when uh, when Zach uh, uh, put, uh, posted something on Vero about him, uh, about pretty much saying goodbye to, <laughs> to his character. Yeah. <laughs> you you're know, talking, about, again, you're talking about the other nail again, in the coffin? <laughs> uh, yeah, pretty much. I'm, I'm sure people are like, still speculating over that. No, but not, <laughs> no, that's, dude, that's not what he meant. <laughs> I know, like, I'm like, he's he's literally saying he was the best Batman for him, and y'all are yep. still going, yeah, but he didn't say he was over. I'm like, no. I mean, it's, you know what, ugh. you know what, these these fans who are like in denial reminded me of this an episode of The Simpsons where. He drops a turkey on the floor, uh, like down the mountain. He's like, it's still good. It's still good. <laughs> it's still a little bit of dust on it, but it's oh still good. God. It's still yeah, and that's what it reminds me of. Yeah, I know. And it's, and it's odd because you would think, and now here's the thing I can appreciate that he, that he did mm. show up. He posted up a picture on Vero and yeah. it was a, basically a, a never before seen image kind of, you know what I mean? Like it, and I, I say that as in it was, basically a look of nightmare batman okay yes mm -hmm. and it, it was something that we hadn't seen you know what i mean like that's right w like i don't know if it was supposed to be a film i don't know if ben affleck's just posing for the camera you know what i mean like it's just there it could have been it looked like he's posting right i mean it, yeah it looks like it's just posing so i don't that's what i'm saying like yeah, it, but... it was just there but you yeah. know the fact that he quoted the beginning of the film as the you know, basically, it's the the homage. But, you know what? what? It, it, it was a nice send off by Zach. As he quoted the beginning of the movie, there was a time above. I mean, he did. He, we, yeah, he called it a beautiful it, lie, it, man. It, it's <laughs> it's such a it's such a way a nice way to again like we all in mourning this is like a <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like, like a whole week was, of mourning, dude. That was um, uh, what's the name when uh, when somebody passed away? The eulogy. He, oh, he, eulogy. This is like yeah, the yeah. eulogy. This was the reading yeah, of the eulogy. This, like it didn't hit you this, until this, this we was saw a this. eulogy. I was like, "Oh, this is perfect. I can like this." Uh, I know. <laughs> a little it's... heavy. <laughs> it was like <sighs> I was like reading this. Like, oh, sad. Come on, that was a little bit heavy handed, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. Like it, it. Like we all do it. You know, as fans, we all you know do that whole. It's a beautiful lie, and you know they took me to the light. But hearing the director fucking <laughs> do that with mm. Ben Affleck's Batman, it's like, oh. That hurts, and <laughs> oh. you know it, it. It was nice though for him to send off, you know, to have basically a send off because, you know, at the end of the day, it, Ben Affleck was the perfect choice to be Batman in Zack's world that he wanted to create. Um, he didn't. Right. He didn't unfortunately see that world finish and completed yet. No, because he signed up for Zack's vision, you know, because right. when Zack showed it to him, he said, I remember, I remember the interview where he said, you know, I, I know I could tap into this. I know I could do this. I'm, I'm interested in this. And that's what got him hyped. Right. And, and I will then, say this too, uh, going back, and I apologize, I didn't mention this, but when mm -hmm. Ben Affleck was talking about the Batman and all that stuff, he had, he had thrown out a little thing like, oh, we just couldn't get the script right. I, no, I could tell you this right now. That is a bold fucking lie to save face. Okay? Yeah, it's the same crap that the, the <clears throat> garbage ass director Joss Whedon said. Correct. Be uh, and the reason like why I say that, memo. yeah, and the reason why <laughs> I say that is because one, um, Jay Oliva already said that that script was the best Batman script he had ever seen. Okay. Yep. They, he's not going to say that based off of a fucking half-ass mediocre bullshit script. Okay. Two. No. No. We know because of the things that we did uh, at DC Film Sub and the exclusive that we were able to get, we know that there was a lot more behind the scenes drama of that entire thing. Okay. Oh yeah. So when we when we talk about what he was, you know, essentially talking about was him and Jeff Johns got into a roadblock and they couldn't figure. He, 
he wanted to do something, Jeff John said no. So Matt, I mean, Ben Affleck basically said, no, I'm not going to film a bullshit version of your film. And that's it. Right. And I respect him for, you know, for sticking to his guns because look what happened. Look what we discovered a couple of weeks back from the uh, market, market researcher guy who who spilled the beans on a lot of the stuff that went down in Aquaman with uh, with Jeff John forcing, pretty much forcing his... Uh, yeah, he, John, he forced, uh, he forced to, Black Manta to be kept in To put the Black film. Manta in the movie. I'm like, all right, dude, so probably, you know... And, and, and um, this is not a shot at one because, you know, it, it, to, which is on. And and I'm sure to, for, I don't know what, what was his motive or or if he felt like, you know what, I, I'd rather please him and get my product out and compromise. A little. I don't I don't know. I'm not trying, I'm not going to try to decipher what was in, in his mind. But, you know, there is, it shows, it's indicative that this man metal too damn much in these movies and maybe maybe ben was like nah dude i want to do this my way i got it you good you you're a good writer you can give me a little uh, a couple of pointers i would appreciate that but you cannot tell me how to shoot a film how to direct the film how to write a film i'm an academy award director who are you to tell me you know other how to do my job i know that, and and, it, know, and we heard that shit we heard it in the interviews that he had yeah. i mean he he oh, yeah. blatantly said i'm not going to make a bullshit mediocre batman film no matter what yep and i think that that was a jab at at john's and I, no disrespect to Absolutely. john's but i think that that that's what it was because he was wanting this film to be made a certain way Zack mm-hmm. snyder was wanting this film to be made a certain way and they mm-hmm. collaborated on it and all of a sudden jeff johns gets involved and all of a sudden, Rick leaves the Flash. Ben Affleck leaves the Batman. There was a reason why those filmmakers were there originally. Okay. Oh yeah. There, there's no. It wasn't a. And, and it's also why Zach and Rick were allowing both their characters that they were they were casting in their fucking film. Okay. Rick mm-hmm. already had a vision for for Barry Allen's dad. And he was for, deep uh, in Iris. it. He was already deep uh, in it. I, I know that he already casted two of the main actors that were going to be in the Flash film, and he yep. was allowing them to already get established in Justice League. Okay, that's called collaboration. That's the reason yeah. why those two directors were already working together with each other. Mm-hmm. It wasn't until Jeff Johns became ahead of it that they said, "Okay, he's going to start taking all these ideas out." There was no reason to have uh, Barry Allen's dad in there or Iris if that was the case. But they were already mm-hmm. in that film because they were going to be led in to the Flash film. Into the Flash film, yeah, that's so, right. So Ben Affleck knew what he was doing. They all knew what they were doing. They were going to have this small little world. And Warner Brothers and Jeff Johns decided, no, we want to take advantage of it. and We want to expand it massively. Right. And unfortunately, that didn't work out. And there's a reason no, why Jeff Johns isn't there. It, uh, uh, you know, Rick, all these directors, they went in because they went in with the idea that Zack Snyder was steering the ship. They already knew what he was doing. Yep. And the, and Zack knew what they what they were doing and they were working together towards one common goal. But everything is went belly up the day, the minute that Jeff Johns jumped into the <laughs> Unfortunately, into, yeah. And you know into the ship. I'm like, what's going on? That's why he left. I'm sure he I'm sure that's why he left. Like this dude is gonna tell me what to do now because it, in, in this, oh, it's indicative that that's what they were going to do. Like they were going to follow Zack's lead because James Wan, even though that he you know, took too many pointers and, and allowed this guy to take too many liberties with his movie, he still went ahead against the studio's uh, approval and showed the movie to Zack Snyder. Because probably in his mind, in his mind thinking, you know what? Probably he's gonna come back, and I just want to make sure that I'm still in 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 line with what this, with the story that that he's trying to you know put out there. But uh, you know what? It, it's not. It's, it's not, that's gone. That's not gonna get that back again. No, ever. no, no. He is not, that and ship, unfortunately, that ship has sailed. Yeah. So yeah, and with the. It, Mm-hmm. Go, uh, I was just going to say, you know, it's it's funny, though, because the whole time, you know, Jeff was on Twitter pumping up Wonder Woman and all that. He completely shut the fuck up for Justice League, and rightfully so. And yeah. what has happened lately, even David Timber, we were talking about this last week. They were talking about 
basically, you know, the trailer and all that and how he doesn't have control. And even James Wan stepped in for David Sandberg, quote tweeted his like response to people asking about the trailer. And he's like, look, you know, people kept saying, well, where's the trailer? Where's the trailer? And, you know, after the first one and finally when I gave out the second one, everyone was like, oh, y'all show too much. You gave away the movie and all that. And so he's like, there's no (laughs) fucking winning in here. So he's like, you can win. Yeah. And he's just like, just, you know what, David, keep doing what you're doing. Don't worry about them. And you know, have a, have a good time. And it's just weird because those two were talking about, you know, Ben Affleck, not Ben Affleck, but their films. And then Wonder Woman herself, Gal Gadot comes out and basically throws out a, a big appreciation tweet for Zack Snyder. Mm-hmm. Now, oh, that's right. Yeah. And he tweeted or she tweeted it on, on obviously Twitter. She doesn't have Vero. But I wanted to do it, and I don't know how other how, how many other people did it, but I know I did it specifically so that he would see it, which he did. So right. I wanted to see if, because if he saw the tweet, if he would respond on Twitter or something, or at least maybe on Vero, throw us up uh, a big, you know, some never-before-seen Wonder Woman image. I don't know. Right, that was the image when she was cast as Right, the first, the first time she was cast as Wonder Woman to the first mm-hmm. image that we got released from BBS showing Wonder Woman, right. you know? Mm-hmm. And... Zach tweeted out again like this the only time he's tweeted since unfortunately he left Twitter which was before the loss of his daughter have only been be- in support of everything he's done you know as far as the the loss of his daughter and, and the, the support yeah, and suicide everything. prevention yeah mm-hmm. and so this is the first tweet he's done in so long to just be just be a tweet you know what I mean mm-hmm. and so he he basically retweeted her and he said you know, he always believed that she could be Wonder Woman, and she was. So, it was just nice seeing, you know, his admiration and his appreciation for right. her as Wonder Woman, and her basically, you know, being there. Appreciating him. Yeah, and even James Wan liked the tweet. You know what I mean? So, right. It's just, it's nice to see those kinds of connections because we know Zach is not, you know, he's no longer involved with the DC world. So unfortunately, yeah, unfortunately, but you know, we got, yeah. so, we got but some cool, move on. yeah, we got some cool things coming from him and, and future other yeah, DC films. And I we mean, got two classics. We got a uh, man of steel and <clears throat> BBS. Oh God. You talk about <laughs> oh, just so amazing. And you know, so, one day, hopefully so. we'll get to see what justice league was going to be, you know? Yeah. Ho- hopefully one day we, we get to see that, that, so the Sire's uh, desire cut. Mm hmm. But you know, and with we're moving on, you know, here, another thing that happens is that you know speculation started happening because ever since, um, I mean, Batman hasn't even t- taken off the suit, and already people are suiting up a new Batman. <laughs> I know. Yeah. yeah. Speaking of, you know, with, with you know, I'm not gonna say I'm not going to denounce uh, your boy, Army Hammer, as right. being Batman. Because that's my that, that's my that that's my topic. I know it the is. minute, I, I, and I think I jumped the gun. Uh, no, I don't think so. Here's what I think. Okay. Okay. Go ahead. I, and I know, I know, Revenge of the Fans has been wrong sometimes. For the most part, though, well, they they've gotten yeah, some right well, shit. Okay. <laughs> you know what? People are, can be really vile because I, I find it hilarious. Can. I know, when, man. I'm like, Dude, but he, some people just go. Ain't on this dude. I'm like, I know, dude. I don't bro, get it, dude. Relax. I'm like, calm down. Serious. We all just calmed it. Like the guy's still a fucking human being. Like exactly. Like, oh my jeez. Uh, but but I will say this though. Hmm. If and he is stuck to his guns. Okay, he is he is literally hmm. never backed down. He's never been like, oh well, my source might have been wrong. I don't know. Right. Here's the reason why I think all the big big trades, the people that are involved with it, shut it down hmm. so abruptly. Because they were upset that they didn't get that information first. Probably okay. Is, here's know, here's probably the thing. Here's the thing. If something like that mm. happens majorly, you know that people are going to want to go to the big trades, Variety, The Hollywood Reporter, Deadline. Right. They're going to go to those because they are the biggest publications as far as this kind of information is concerned. Right. If they're going to break that news, they're going to want first grab at it. Okay. Right. And until that happens, do you think they're going to allow other people to have a shot at doing that before them? Fuck no. No, especially yeah, especially like a small fries guy right. like 
Revenge of the Fan. Correct. Which, you know what I mean? Hey, we don't have any pro. We don't have any beef. Yeah, no, I have no this issues with them. Some, I'm just saying we that, have no issues with them. Yeah, those bigger, those been, bigger. They've been right. They've been wrong. We've been right. We've been wrong. Yeah. It's just the. It's, it's all just good. The name of the game. It, but the it's thing just, is, though, is that that's why I think everybody's tried to debunk it first, so that they can go, no, that's not true, and now I have a reason to go and ask the studio, so I can and, potentially get that. Okay. And and there was a, there was a video of um. Of, of Army Hammer say, saying, you know, nobody that 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 is that is, has the power to to make him sign or ask him to sign hasn't asked him anything yet. Yeah, but and even the, even the interviewer that, even the interviewer said that that was not because of this rumor. Exactly, and, but the thing is, like, I remember. Do you remember one time when uh, Jason Momoa was yeah he was he was, was interviewed, interviewed as M- point blank by NT a uh, point blank by NTV <laughs> and he and he said you know what bro nope <laughs> I'm doing my I'm doing yeah. my <laughs> he said no Jason you can Momoa. punch me in the face if it comes out no, to be you true you can punch me in the face if you uh, if I'm not correct what and I'm like. Dude, you lying, son of a bitch. Yeah, what? he lied. You, you have know, to he, keep He shit. owes that man a punch in the face. I know, and he never got it. <laughs> he but, never got it. I will, I will be tweeting about it. I mean, you owe me a punch in the face, dude. Yeah. And so that's, but, uh, you but know, that's our point, though. Like, the if, mm. if something that massive is going to come out, believe me, they are going to... They're going to want first da- like first grab at it, believe me, okay? Right. So and still, you know, that thing spread like fire. Fuck though. yeah, dude. And the, you know what? One thing this thing uh, showed me that this is the perfect casting, because I might I, I might have seen like one or two guys like, eh, eh, but every like ninety nine point nine was ecstatic about this this <laughs> casting. Yeah, because the dude. And is, I would say I know, would say if you haven't watched Man of or the Man from Uncle, I would highly recommend watching it to see how him and you know. Henry Cavill's characters mm. they play off of each other I mean it's really good v- very good yeah they got they had good chemistry in that movie mm-hmm. so I I think to me he's, he, he I hope it's true you know what I wouldn't put it I wouldn't put it past it because the thing you know another thing is I don't know I remember uh, 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 I don't remember the episode but you know Audie <laughs> Gold yeah from, yeah entourage like he would leak out stuff just to you know to see to feel the pulse or get or get his way or <laughs> yeah force the studio to do so i'm thinking you know what if i'm if if i'm fighting for my for for my actor to get the the, the role i could do something stupid like that like put it out there like you know what yeah. studio i'm gonna who's show gonna say you any, who's how, gonna how, say something yeah, exactly i'm gonna show you how much people want this man to to play the role because I guarantee you, if it was Robert P- Patterson, I don't know, that guy from Twilight. Yeah, Robert I, Patterson. I'm not. Yeah, Robert, whatever. I don't care. <laughs> yeah, hey, I wouldn't mind him. I'm just saying. I know you don't. I know you don't, but I'm not crazy. And I, I don't. I'm not crazy because I'm like crazy about him because I'm like, no, he doesn't seem, he might look the part, but he, 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 he does not intimidate me. And and it's just something about it. It's like, ugh. I don't, I don't find him threatening. It's, <laughs> this, this dude, man, listen. I know we, we can go Army on. Army Hammer, he's like six five. I know, dude. He's fucking the massive. Dude's thirty three. He's thirty three. He <clears throat> could be playing that role for the next ten years if, if the studio needs him to. Yep. And 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 I want my Batman to be imposing, because you know what? I'm. I know. I'm, I'm like six one, right? <laughs> and I know who's the who, who's the best fighter in the world, undefeated. Floyd Mayweather. Oh. How tall is that motherfucker? I don't know. How tall is he? <laughs> Let me Google that. Isn't he like? Isn't he like? I thought he was like five eight. He's like five eight. He, yeah. Floyd Mayweather like gets stupid with me on the street, bro. I will not back. I know he's a champion, <laughs> but I will not back up from a fight. Yeah, he's five eight. Now, now get the fuck out of here. If exactly, you, see could, what you I'm could pick so him up if, like a kid, man. Ex- <laughs> thank you. But if I if I run into a guy that is six five, oh, I know. I don't know. I, I don't know him from God Pickens. I'm like, dude, you know. <laughs> yeah, no. If I run into what, who? Uh, uh, the fucking mountain, uh, dude. Uh, Matt Wilder or yeah. Joshua, those big boxers. Oh, I was gonna say I'm the like, mountain, come on, dude. brother. We gotta stop this black or black crime. You know, like, I'm <laughs> fucking <laughs> trying to see myself out of the fight because I know I'm gonna get destroyed. Yeah. So uh, you know that, what? That's I, the way it should be, man. I mean, 
you don't exactly. want to you don't want to be this... looking up to Batman. I mean, you don't want to be looking so, down ex- at Batman. Exactly. I don't want to be looking down on my Batman. And they're like, "Come on, mini Batman." <laughs> Fucking Robin, Batman. <laughs> no, I know, and and you know, again, you know it's I mean? it's a rumor for now. We don't know what's gonna happen, but it, you know, if it comes out to where Army Hammer is Batman, and and he fucking reported it first, like I'm just saying, okay. Mm-hmm. Regardless if all of those fucking bloggers and and scoopers discredited him, if it fucking comes right. out that Army Hammer is Batman, can you imagine? Want- like he called it out. He's the one that said it. Yeah, he called so it out. So nobody can say anything else other than that. I know. They have to source <laughs> they, They'd have to. So I'm like, <laughs> all right, dude. But, you know, one thing, the last thing uh, I'll say, because really that's that's all that this news has been, or that's all this week has been. Right. If you have not seen Alita, I cannot oh. fucking stress enough. Please, please go see that movie. It is go see it. It and go see it in 3D. I saw it in 3D IMAX. Holy shit! Mm. Like, really? Well, yeah. So here's the thing: when I think of 3D, I think of the fucking everything popping out off the screen, right? I mean, that's right. that's what I think of it. I don't know what else am I supposed to. That's not the 3D that you're seeing in Alita. What you're seeing in 3D really? is the the amount of depth in the you know with the background images and the everything that's on screen you're seeing that in depth it's a submerged experience correct so that's the difference between 3d from what i was thinking of versus 3d you know what they actually can what what they actually did now i'm gonna watch it in 3d because that's the only the last movie i saw in 3d was avatar because that was fully 3d submerged experience oh yeah so So, i'll say that a spoiler way level I will say, please, please go and see that fucking film. Yeah, we I, highly recommend it. I highly recommend it. Um, we can get into it more and more in depth next time or some other time. But I will mm. say that uh, that's about it, man. Do you have anything else? No, that's about it. This is pretty, it's been a slow news week. Uh, as you know, the only thing that's, that's going to happen is uh, Shazam. I mean, uh, but we haven't gotten anything out of that camp either. So, but you know what? Um, thank you for sticking by us and listening to our bullshit every week, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> even with even with this low news week. But um, uh, you know, make sure you hit like, subscribe, comment below, and engage us. Uh, you can always follow me on Twitter, Instagram. Uh, the, follow the mother page on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, Vero. Yeah, and, and on the web, of course. DC, DC Films, Films Up. Up. Absolutely. Where can they find you on Twitter? Uh, they can find, find me on Mr. Underscore Everts, Benjamin Everts on Vero, and that's it. Yeah, and you can follow me if you'd like on Twitter at Sir, as in a knight, S E R, underscore John, J O N, underscore Aaron, A R R Y N. And that, my friends, of course, it's for Game of Thrones. We inch by yeah. every week. Every week, man, it gets closer and closer to that 14th it's fucking getting closer baby. and closer. God. Winter is coming. Fuck, <laughs> man, I can't wait. And um, on Vero, I'm at John Aaron Garza. But, you know, that's about it. There you go. Other than that, All guys, right. thank you very much. I hope you enjoy it. Till next week. Peace.